So 8chan is an online anonymous messaging board. So basically you go online and it sort of looks like a social media site, but most people are anonymous and there's a bunch of different boards where you can talk about a bunch of different topics. It's been known over the years to foster quite a lot of online extremism, hate speech, policies that a lot of people don't want to be associated with. What we've seen this year is three different shooters who have allegedly posted manifestos or commentary on 8chan before going out and committing the attacks. And these manifestos are often full of violence, they have white supremacist notions, and they're getting taken down from 8chan, but they're also getting reposted so quickly that the site can't really keep up with it and a lot of people are finding them. Cloudflare provides internet infrastructure service, so it helps uh, host and support the websites and it provides cybersecurity to them. So effectively if you don't if you're a Cloudflare customer and they drop you you your site effectively shuts down you would need to find another provider for that Cloudflare decided yesterday that they were going to stop providing support for 8chan they said the extremism and the violence that's being promoted on the site is just too much we're going to stop so 8chan went down briefly uh, it was early in the morning Monday but they're already back up. Intermittently, they've been already back up during the day, which might mean that they have found another provider. When we look at the mainstream social media sites, they're putting quite a lot of effort into trying to get rid of hate speech online, which is already a huge challenge, and no one is saying that they're doing it perfectly because they're running into First Amendment rights. They often don't have enough uh, machine and human moderation to get things taken down fast enough, but they're trying. When we look at some of these more fringe sites, 8chan included, they have little to no moderation. They're really not putting the resources in like we see the mainstream sites doing, and that's why we are often hearing about extremism fostering on these sites. There's so much hate that is online that's being spread, and I, I, tr I try to do my best part in spreading love and spreading you know, positivity, and that's what I'm out here doing today, is, is just trying to spread a little bit of love. And But I'm just disgusted by the, the hate that I see online every day. Not just you know, on, on certain websites, but all over the internet.